one thing I forgot to mention on the on the other clip was we've got the Earth Earth lead. Um, not wearing a glove on the hand which is holding the gun because the earth is going through there. Simply just clip the earth lead on. It could be onto the wire there, but anywhere there. It's as easy as that, it's ready to go. I'm going to try and aim into the corners first, into hard to reach places. I'm going to pull the trigger and then start releasing more air through the gun. I can even see, it's even gone red already on the end. Get through. It's already working, it's magic. It's amazing. I can just really light dust. Get into all the little cracks first. You take care of the awkward places. It's fantastic. I can even see it's gone inside the holes. There's four holes. I can even pick it up because the earth will go through my hand. It's not that exactly strong. I've literally used this about three times, this gun. Just doing little parts. So I, I just gotta get more familiar with in the routine of doing things, but the main thing is is the shot blasting. Get your part clean. This basically is a tool which goes in a vice and the fabricator will put steel flat bar in it and then he'll basically bend the flat bar around to make squirrels for fancy gates and railings. And that's all that is. So this is just a piece of a nice little bit of tool this just gonna be kept you know in the fabricator's arsenal basically. But that's the gun, disconnect the gun, ready to take to the oven. Put the gun down safely. It's 
So go and open the oven ready. Which is there. Happy days. Let's get my thermometer. Let's see what the temperature is of the oven. And then monitor the piece itself. Pat is raising 75 degrees. Let's get him up to 180. And then we'll set the timer for 10 minutes. Amazing how it just transforms the look of a part. I mean, I can't endorse that powder coating gun enough because, yeah, you don't have to plug it into the electric. Um, for the hobbyist, and judging by YouTube videos that I've been watching, a lot of professional powder coaters, they've also used it for quick powdering on some parts and it's quicker than dragging out the big machine and using big hoppers within minutes you can be powder coating small items like that and isn't and you don't even have to have a big oven small ovens fantastic we're in the middle of building a big oven for doing commercial work but this thing would be done within 20 minutes. This would be done and dusted and it, and it hasn't used much electricity. So watch this space guys and I'll try and upload the finished part. <laughs> 